For the past four years, the Oromo Liberation Army, OLA, and the Egyptian government, led by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, have been embroiled in an armed conflict stemming from disagreements over the demands and rights of the Oromia people in Oromia, the largest and most populous region in Ethiopia. Now, the United States government welcomes the beginning of talks in Tanzania between the government of Ethiopia and the members of the Oromo Liberation Army, said Secretary of State Antony Blinken. In a statement, the talks marks a promising development in resolving the conflict in Ethiopia and the U.S. is pleased to see efforts toward peace being made. All parties to negotiate in good faith toward a mutually acceptable resolution, the U.S. government charges. Today marks the six-month anniversary of the cessation of hostilities agreement which silenced the guns and brought peace to northern Ethiopia thanks to African Union leadership. We applaud the parties and encourage them to remain committed to full implementation, U.S. Secretary Antony Blinken said on his Twitter post, mediated by the government of Kenya and Norway. The peace talks between the Oromo Liberation Army, OLA, and the Ethiopian government commenced on April 24, 2023. As the talks continue, the United States has expressed its support, noting the negotiations in a statement that also marked the six-month anniversary of the cessation of hostility. Agreement, Koha, between the Ethiopian government and the Tigri People's Liberation Front, TPLF, which was signed in Petroya on November 2, 2022.